Hi, my name is Caleb. I want to show you how to go to Google Apps for K-12 for a school. Uh, I actually took a small school that I'm on the board of to Google Apps while I was at a Google Apps conference during a little bit of a, shall we say, not so interesting presentation. I just decided not to wait, but I can edit the website, so it can happen very quickly. Lesson number one. Lesson number one actually is don't wait. If you have security concerns about Google Apps, uh, talk to your IT people. I believe with so many schools going to it that if Google starts to mess around with the public schools, it'll become a federal issue. And I don't believe they will anyway. They're very good about education. Their founders were in, edu in education for a long time as grad students. But that's another issue and it's up to you. If you're going to go, go. Uh, the reason we went, uh, and when I say we, I mean neighborhood schoolhouse in Brattleboro, Vermont, 200 miles north of New York City in the United States, about 50 kids, about 10 staff, uh, and I'm the tech guy on the board, and I wanted to take the school there because we need to use donated computers, and a way to make donated computers fast is to strip all the software off. We can't afford office and software like that anyway. We want to collaborate. We can't afford regular IT visits even. Uh, so... It makes great sense to go to Google, especially because we can get donated computers and have the IT department wipe those computers and load something like Linux, Ubuntu, or a stripped-down Windows. We can take old Macs with just the operating system and only run a web browser. So this makes a lot of sense. So let's, uh, let's get to it. On, um, oh, so why am I screencasting it? Partly because... There's a lot of information out there, but has um, I couldn't find anybody really show me how how it happened, how it looked. And so without further ado, this is how it looks. To go to Google Apps, you get to this page somehow. You could, uh, I don't know, Google, Google it. <laughs> uh, and this is key. Uh, July 2.10, they're, uh, they're ending a promotion with Postini, a very reputable company that will archive your email. Maybe you have to archive, maybe you don't. Why is Google free? That's a long uh, a long issue, but uh, we were told by uh, a great guy, uh, Matt Dunn, the community affairs guy for Google, that uh, they're, it's obviously for marketing for them, but it's obviously uh, something they can do. Notice they don't have a lot of support. They let companies do support and conversion. So they're creating a whole bunch of little companies. It's good for their business. It's good for the world. It follows their mission. Makes a lot of sense. But let's get to it. Uh, let's just sign up our school. We're K-12. We can manage our own domain. I think you have 30 days to, to change it. I would recommend having the, your webmaster sit next to you. Or do if you can edit your website, uh, do it right away because it's instant gratification that way. Once you enter your domain, uh, um, nothing like typos in screencasts. Once you enter domain, you just fill this form out. Then after you fill that form out. You get a line of code to put in an HTML file, and you name that file, and you put it on your website, and you show Google the link, and that proves you own the domain, and then, magically, you create the first user, which is you, and they give you a login, and boom! Almost just that fast, you are into your site. But if you look carefully, you realize you're a standard edition, which is free for everybody. So what's the catch? How do we get to the Premier Edition, which is what education editions are for free? And that will be in number two. How you get to the Premier Edition for free is you tell Google you're a school and you prove it by showing them your accreditation. And we'll get into that in part two of Neighborhood Schoolhouse Goes Into the Cloud.